Welcome. I want to start off with I'm going to apologize to you because after you've gone through engaged listening, every conversation you go through from this day forward is not going to be quite the same. You're going to realize that, well, gee, I might not be a really good listener or my friend doesn't stop talking and I can't get a word in edgewise. So, why is this important? This is a skill that you can practice here on earth because it's going to impact the way that God is going to be able to speak to you because you have to be a good listener if you're going to pursue His purpose in your life because it's His purpose and He needs to communicate that to you and so you need to listen. So let's break down how that actually works. Engage listening is the practice skill and technique of intentionally engaging with somebody so that they can be truly heard. To be truly heard, to be truly known, to be truly seen is a gift of love that we can give to one another. There's a number of ways of practicing the engaged listening skills. One of the first ways is just really the nonverbal, looking at their eyes, nodding your head, being in agreement with them, kind of really focused in on what they're saying. Get your agenda out of, the, uh, out of the process completely. You want to be hearing them. You want to keep them in what's called discovery mode. You want to have follow-up questions. Follow-up questions would be, oh really, did they say that? Oh, how did that make you feel? What did you want to do next? That follow-up question basically says, I hear you and I'm engaged in this process and I want to hear it all the way through. I want to know what it is that you have to say. And then discovery mode questions are ones that really invite them to go deeper. Really, what, would, what do you would like to do next? Uh, how is that going to impact your family? Where is that going to lead you? All those things are practice skills. Again, if you're thinking about what you want to say next in the middle of that conversation, you're not listening. And this is a gift that we can all give to God. One of the unique elements of being in a design discovery meeting is that we give you the opportunity to be truly seen, maybe for the very first time in your life, as to your real identity. Now that's something that's done through a coach process and, you know, that is the result of going through all those assessments. But listening, we can all do that. We can all take that opportunity to be able to really hear that person to allow them to share their um, experience, not to inject our agenda, not to make it about us. Why? Because if God's going to lead you, the things that you want to do for God need to be set aside. You got to do it with God. And if He's going to do it with God, you have to hear how He speaks to you, how He's going to direct you. Are you ready?